Hello everyone, welcome to another Versus video. I am BBD, joined by... Chris Van Meter. Yep, he is still a bearded foe. However... For now. For because now. Because of the, the magic of television. We have to record this before you actually get to see it, so I haven't shaved yet. Yeah, he has not shaved his beard off yet, despite winning a tournament last weekend. Uh, so, yeah. But, speaking of not shaving, Corsair Crew Fix still has a lot of facial hair as well. Um, nope, baby faced. All right, he's baby faced. Corsair Crew Fix won a tournament. He shaved immediately. <laughs> CDM, why aren't, why aren't you more like Corsair Crew Fix? I don't know. All right, well. It's not very enchanting. Anyway, uh, Corsair Crew Fix, CVM, beard jokes aside, uh, we are battling some modern today, and I'm going to be battling with a Sultai deck, a Sultai mid range deck, which is Bug or. Uh, black, green, and blue, for those who are unaware. Uh, this is a deck that was featured in Jerry's Deckless Digest that he does every single day on StarCityGames.com. Uh, a lot Actually, of just a really awesome piece of content every day. Yeah, there's tons of awesome deck lists there. I get, I've gotten a lot of ideas from there myself. Yeah. Um, just a lot of really cool things happening there, so it's always neat to check those out if you're interested in new decks in all kinds of formats. He pretty much post decks from every format. So there's even been a couple of vintage decks on yeah, there. Yeah, there have been a few vintage decks in there too. So um, check that out if you're interested in seeing sweet new decks. And this is one of them and I've made a couple of changes to it, but for the most part uh, it is here in its entirety, Jace Architect of Thought and all. So basically the core of this deck is the same black green shell that we've seen a lot of different decks utilize. Mm -hmm. uh, decay, dismembers, disruption, um, we have goifs, coursers, scavenging ooze, things like that. Uh, Maelstrom Pulse, etc. Now, blue adds a different element to this deck. So instead of getting like Lightning Bolt and Terminate out of red or Lingering Souls out of white, um, out of blue we get Snapcaster Mage, we get some draw spells like Serum Visions, um, and then we get a lot of disrupt like hand or, uh, counter magic and things of that nature. We get Mana Leak and Cryptic Command. Uh, and then we have Jace Architect of Thought as a Planeswalker, and I actually think Jace is uh, underrated in modern. Mm -hmm. um, his plus one's very good against like Lingering Souls or a lot of different decks, uh, and his minus two is actually kind of powerful if you can protect him for a turn. Yeah. And this deck's very good at protecting him for a turn because we have we have big old boys like Tarmogoyf that are going to hold down the fort, make it hard for our opponent to kill our Jace. Um, so it's just a very good top end spell. Not only that, but like as the game progresses even further, his minus two gets even more powerful when we can cast Jace and another spell in that same turn. So Modern is full of these powerful cards like Abrupt Decay, Tarmogoyf, Thoughtseize, Inquisition, Dismember. Uh, we even have Mana Leak as well. So once we get to a point where we can cast Jace, minus it, and still have two or three mana available after that, it's going to be very difficult for our opponent to actually figure out a correct line to play around everything that we have. Yeah, and there's also the beauty that all of our cards are cheap. So, Jace is minus, we can, you know, let's say we minus Jace and it's like Decay, Dismember, Inquisition. We yeah. can just take whatever the two <laughs> pile is, and next turn, even if we're tapping out for Jace that turn, next turn we can definitely cast both of those spells. Yeah. So, it, it's really easy to cash in immediately on the card advantage from Jace. Um, and then Snapcaster Mage is just a fantastic card. Uh, this deck doesn't play Dark Confidant, and instead we have Snapcaster, which... Uh, basically, Snapcaster is a lot better if your opponent has removal spells. Um, Which everybody always does. They always do, yeah. <laughs> had the, man, they always have it. They always have a removal spell. So, Dark Confidant just dies a lot, but Snapcaster Mage, it doesn't matter if he dies, because you get to flash back one of these cards anyway. Mm -hmm. And one thing I really like is uh, we have a lot of ways to make Snapcaster Mage a turn three play which is Thoughtseize, Inquisition, Dismember, and Serum Vision. So there's a lot of very cheap cards for Snapcaster. Yeah. Um, one of the issues a lot of Snapcaster decks have is that their flashback targets are too expensive. Um, and this deck doesn't have that problem. I mean, there are still some of the bigger ones, um, like Maelstrom Pulse, Cryptic Command, and Sultai Charm. We got a new one. Yep, Sultai Charm is a new one from uh, Cons of Tarkir. And it is pretty sweet, I think. So. Uh, it has three modes to it. You can destroy a monocolored creature. You can basically ultimate price. Ultimate price. Uh, another mode is naturalize. Um, that's or the green mode. For those of you who are older. Uh, and then the blue mode is catalog. Okay, catalog. That's before my time. I don't, I don't actually know the card it's catalog. There's a saga. Draw two, discard one. Draw two, discard one. So, um, card is pretty versatile. The ability to have the draw two, discard one means that uh, you can get mileage out of it, even if. You know, destroy a monocolored creature or destroy a target artifact or enchantment's not getting the job done. 
Yeah, it's, it's really unique how this card has three modes, but feels like four because Disenchant gives you two different options. Yeah. And we saw with the charms in Ravnica block aligned with the guilds, we saw how they were able to push the design space on those as cards like Celestia Charm, Golgari Charm, Azorius Charm, Izzet Charm. All these cards are extremely powerful and have seen a lot of play for the time that they're in standard. As opposed to like the, 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 char the charms that were in Alara block, you know, they were pretty good, but they weren't really pushed as hard as the uh, Ravnica block charms were. And I'm excited to see how they do the charms in this block, since we haven't seen, you know, these types of cards and these color combinations before. And, you know, they really pushed the envelope with the last set of charms, and I'm hoping they do the same with the rest of these. Yeah, I will say that Sultai Charm does seem a little weaker than something like Esper Charm. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that the envelope isn't pushed nearly as much on these, but we'll, we'll have to see when the other four come out. Yeah. Uh, this isn't the Control Charm, though. It's true. It's true. Uh, the mana base is, is mostly straightforward. I did not play Polluted Delta because we want our fetch lands to be able to fetch Forest because of Corsair Crew Fix. Um, and that, that is one of the main reasons why. I did cut two Dark Slick Shores for two Creeping Tar Pits, though, because Tar Pits sweet, and I think that the, a deck like this should definitely be playing four copies of that card. Makes sense. Kill them. So uh, this is the main deck. Let's go ahead and look at the sideboard and see what options await us there. All right, so here we are with the sideboard. Uh, start off, we have four Fulminator Mages. Uh, Fulminator Mage is just a fantastic card in, in modern. Um, decks like Tron and Affinity are really reliant on lands. Uh, and then there's a number of other decks, too, where uh, destroying non-basic lands can either set them back or get rid of like Raging Ravines or things like that, too. Mm -hmm. um, so this card's pretty versatile, pretty powerful in the format. Um, <coughs> the originalist had Reign of Tears, but I assume that that was just a budget decision. Yeah, um, Fulminator Fulmin is like fifty dollars online or something. Yeah, Fulminators <laughs> are super expensive. They're, that's how expensive they are in real life too. But oh, they're they're really expensive on Magic Online. And Reign of Tears is almost the same card, uh, so it is reasonable to play that over Fulminator Mage. But Fulminator is definitely better. So the things we will do for a Stone Rain. Yeah. <laughs> now it's actually going to be interesting to see how Fulminator Mage, uh, what kind of role he's going to play as we move forward in modern. With access to all 10 fetch lands now, it'll be much easier to actually get basic lands for your mana base to be able to cast all your spells. So I can imagine that once all 10 fetches are available and you know people get to play around with them a little bit more and their mana bases, we're going to see a lot more basic lands in play and uh, it'll end up making Fulminator Mage and cards like Blood Moon less impactful out of the sideboard. Yeah, that's probably true. Um, so we have two Vendillion Clicks as well. Those were Glenelendra Arc Mages, but I felt like there are too many four drops on the sideboard, and this deck's already pretty heavy as is. Mm -hmm. uh, and Vendillion Click's an extremely powerful card if your opponent doesn't have cards like Electrolyze in their deck. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, just a, it's just a great threat, like along with Creeping Tar Pit, it ends the game quickly. And uh, it is pretty disruptive as well, or could cycle our own cards in matchups like that. Yeah. Um, so I, I think Vendillion Click's awesome and, and a great addition. Uh, a couple Engineered Explosives, I like this card a lot. Uh, I think it's just a fantastic card. Uh, very good in a variety of matchups. Boggles comes to mind. <laughs> Blow up all their enchantments or their creatures. Yep. Um, just any kind of deck that's playing a lot of like early creatures and things like that. Explosives is very good. Yeah, in, in a deck like this where we don't have access to Ancient Grudge, I like having a card like Explosives that's good against you know the narrow matchups like Boggles, but also very good against something like Affinity. Um, so I definitely like Explosives. Yeah, yeah, Affinity is definitely a very hard matchup for the deck, so we also have two Creeping Corrosions for that. Um, and Drown and Sorrow can also be good against them too. Yeah. So we, we do have a number of cards for Affinity because that is certainly a very bad matchup for this style of deck. Uh, Sower of Temptation is just an all-around great card against other creature decks. Uh, you get to steal their creature, and if they don't have a removal spell, you just keep it. Um, and even if they do, like you're still just trading one for one with a removal spell, and sometimes even buying a turn, because they have to yeah. waste their turn killing your guy, and they still can't attack with their creature. Um, so, Sower, Sower's a pretty awesome card. I really like Sower a lot. And then, good old Obstinate Bayloth. I'm a huge Obstinate Bayloth fan. This card, look at that grin. Just look at the grin on that guy. How can you not love that card? It's a face the mama could love, that's for sure. Yeah, especially when the mama is your opponent's Liliana. Ticking up. Rats. I love when your opponent ticks up a Liliana, you get to put in Obstinate Bayloth, and you, could, you just get to show them that facial grin. That, that is a Bayloth that came in for free. Look at that grin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think this card's great against a lot of different archetypes. Um, even just being a 4-4 is really good against decks that are relying on Lightning Bolt. Yep. So even matchups where you might not expect Bayloth to be great, it's still actually pretty solid against like decks like... 
uh, even like Tarmo Twin type decks or whatever, Bayloth can be pretty good. Yeah, we actually saw uh, one of the Grand Prix earlier in the year that Scape Shift won, <coughs> beating Blue White Red Control in the finals, just attacking on the Gold Country 4-4 for 4. Yeah. There's not much they can do about it. Yep, that's that's what they do in the country. They uh, attack with obstinate Veloss. <laughs> uh, but this is the Sultai mid-range deck. Uh, looks pretty fun to play, so hopefully it'll be a blast. And CVM will get blasted by it.